In homemade society, uh, we believe that talking, discussing and exploring ideas together is essential to the design process. Uh, our goal is to create a platform with a new vision of micro and macro trends uh, within this design industry, generating added value to the design lover community. Design talks include then interviews with leading architects, interior designers and showrooms to discover and discuss uh, about what's trending and the whole creative process of any project. I am Susana Ramos and I'm honored to have today as our guest of Home Society Design Talks, Carlo Donati of Carlo Donati Studio. And uh, with an extensive curriculum and experience in several countries, he is regarded as a renowned expert, not only in Italy, but also worldwide. Ciao, Carlo. Thank you so Ciao. much for being here. Ciao. Great to see you. Great to see you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you here on Design Talks. Um, so uh, starting with the interview, after you have indeed a so uh, rich curriculum and experience, and after working as an architect consultant for Gianni Versace, you have uh, decided to create your own uh, firm, Carlo Donati Studio, yeah. working as well uh, for other brands like Aldo Coppoli, uh, Coppola, Liberty of London, Linea Pew, and uh, Colorfax and Fowler. Uh, could you tell us a bit more uh, about your story uh, as a designer and evolution of your company so far? Yeah. Uh, well, before actually, before going to uh, to live in uh, New York and working for uh, Gianni Versace as a consultant, uh, I I've been working for a couple of uh, important uh, firms uh, in, in architecture in Milan. Actually, uh, Studio Bergioioso and Studio Gregotti are very important firm uh, for architecture history in Italy. Then I moved to the States uh, and I started working for uh, Gianni Versace. Uh, I was taking care in New York uh, of uh, his townhouse in uh, nearby the Central Park and, uh, and the flagship store in Fifth Avenue. Uh, I have to say that uh, even if his style was uh, uh, pretty much different from ours, uh, uh, it, uh, it was a great experience because uh, he was a kind of a genius. And uh, it was very inspiring also for me about uh, learning about the, the color, the association of the color, uh, the courage that, that he has uh, in, uh, in marketing too, in uh, his creativity, a lot of things. Then I came back to Italy and I started to, uh, my, I had a startup of my own company, uh, which, uh, which was like an experiment because we did, uh, uh, not only projects, but also building uh, construction. Mm -hmm. So we were like uh, providing all uh, all uh, the requests of the client. <clears throat> and then um, after a while, after some years, I started focusing uh, instead of my uh, my uh, kind of uh, interest, which was like uh, quality projects, uh, both residential, uh, retail, commercial to resorts. And, uh, and in these last years, we decided to, to grow up uh, our uh, design line. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is always, uh, it's like a thread of all, of all this period was like uh, uh, taking care of all the moments of the projects and uh, paying a great attention to details. This was like a thread of all these years. Mm -hmm. From what I gathered, you find inspiration in, uh, as you said, architectural uh, landmarks and Italian design references uh, of the post-war modernism, like uh, Gio Ponti, Osvaldo Borsani, Franco Alvini, um, as well as the um, abstract scenography by uh, Bob Wilson and interiors of even movies like the ones of Stanley Kubrick and Quentin Tarantino. Um, how are these multiple sources of inspiration expressed in your design style? Uh, uh, it's true that there's a multiple kind of uh, hints in, uh, in my work. Uh, I think that if I have to define the style uh, is, um, is like contemporary but with deep roots in the past. Mm -hmm. And uh, the influences uh, uh, are many as you said, but uh, most of all I said that we say uh, Miss van der Rohe uh, mm -hmm. because of his pure lines, uh, his attention for perspectives, uh, I would say Gio Ponti because of his um, creativity, 
because also this uh, sensibility for colors and materials. And uh, then I think basically that you can find uh, hints almost everywhere. Even, uh, I don't know, if you watch a movie, if you mm -hmm. go around, if you go to a theater, in fashion uh, and everywhere, in uh, commercials. And uh, 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 if I have to say, Bob Wilson, uh, it was the, probably the most important uh, uh, scenographer of uh, uh, Still Alive now. And is uh, uh, a point of reference for, for us because uh, uh, of his uh, abstract uh, scenographies that we find also uh, to, we try to reproduce it in uh, in some of our works, for example, uh, the pool uh, of uh, Nero Mediterranean, for example, Villa. Uh, one of the main references still uh, uh, Stanley Kubrick with his like futuristic interiors. And uh, if just we, if we think about uh, Clockwork Orange or uh, uh, Space Odyssey, and this mm -hmm. was. Uh, uh, we are two movies that uh, were very inspiring for us, for our work, uh, especially uh, you find out uh, some of these hints in uh, the entrance, for example, of uh, uh, Loft A, uh, which is like a, a floating entrance with a fluid space with other directions. And uh, also, of course, Tarantino, Pulp Fiction, other movies, uh, you can find hints also in some details, some colors, uh, some 50 diners that maybe it's useful then, uh, uh, for example, in the design of a furniture too. Yeah, uh, I, I believe you are really a master of gathering all these uh, different inspirations and putting it yeah. in, uh, in your projects as a yeah, whole and to, it works as a whole. Take it, to take it and uh, it's like a brainstorm, and you take mm -hmm. all this thing, and then you shake it, and uh, and they they like come out uh, immediately. Uh, of course, then it depends on the location of the kind of work and projects you're doing. But uh, these are like uh, some suggestions that are, they are still uh, floating in your mind. So mm -hmm. they, then they come out. Yeah, exactly. Uh, do you believe uh, there is a common thread or characteristic or aesthetic that uh, Carlo Donati Studio uses uh, in all its projects? And uh, if so, what um, what draws you to that look? Um, if is there, if we have to talk about the common thread, uh, I would say that um, basically our, uh, we do clear layout, uh, mm -hmm. not messed up. And uh, I, I give a lot of importance to perspective access. Uh, and then uh, what really is exciting us is like uh, the, the careful choice of materials and colors. And uh, I, uh, what I do is to use uh, uh, like uh, unexpected combination of materials uh, to create like frictions. For example, if we use some uh, uh, let's say important and noble uh, material like the molded wood. Uh, maybe we we put it together with uh, maybe a perforated metal sheet, or if we do, if we use marble, maybe we can use it uh, behind uh, uh, a resin floor or a rubber floor. So um, this mixture, these frictions, uh, makes makes the project mm -hmm. more interesting. Yes, indeed, indeed. I think it shows in all your projects uh, that uh, yeah, that right. different matches uh, and frictions, as you said. I think it's a very good word to to characterize that uh, that distinctive style. So uh, whether it's in uh, residential design, a villa, or even a commercial project, you are regarded as one of the most renowned experts, not only in Italy but uh, also worldwide. Um, what have been some of your highlights in terms of these projects? Um, if you have to say, uh, the main thing is that uh, we are uh, interested in uh, sobriety. Uh, we try to do project that uh, refers to sobriety and timeless elegance, if I have to say. What is, uh, we are trying to escape, uh, and I'm always complaining about, is uh, uh, the status symbol projects. Uh, or if you, I would say, a luxury standard uh, uh, 
like a standardization about luxury. Uh, what is uh, instead our goal is to, to try every time to, to do projects with the great personality. And uh, there's always uh, uh, a big point that is, uh, refers to the connection with the local style. Uh, just some examples. Uh, for instance, we, we used uh, uh, black uh, volcanic stone uh, in uh, a villa which was uh, nearby the Eolie island. And uh, so it turns that all, all this villa, uh, the heart of this villa is all black. Mm -hmm. uh, but not just because, because uh, it's a volcanic stone that is nearby. Uh, we kept, for example, the tin tie, the typical tin ties in a New York store of the wear. Uh, or uh, we are now doing a project in Maldives, uh, in the islands, uh, mm -hmm. with uh, where's the roof? Uh, the roof of these houses are is it's in the shape of a uh, of a sail, and it's made of uh, uh, palm uh, thatch, and, mm -hmm. um, and so on. Maybe, uh, for example. We did a house in St. Moritz in the mountain where uh, the floor and the wall coverings were made of uh, serpentino stone, which is a green stone. Mm -hmm. It was typical for uh, the cow uh, drinking, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, so uh, there's always a reference uh, uh, looking at the place. And uh, the main point is trying to do always like uh, a project with personality and uh, with uh, some hints of the local style. Mm -hmm. Of course, and that's wonderful because it totally adapts to uh, all the ambience and all the environment of that, yeah. uh, that otherwise, place. Otherwise, you know, otherwise, you know, you do always the same uh, project everywhere. And, uh, mm -hmm. and this is a thing that I notice uh, and uh, it is what we're trying to not to do because otherwise you, you enter a shop in Dubai, you enter a house in New York, uh, you go to visit a museum uh, in Hong Kong, and they're all the same, completely yes. the same. So exactly. well, I believe that uh, we have to work on personality, we have to work on uh, some local uh, means. Mm -hmm. Of course, um, I also I believe that in each of these different kinds of projects, uh, they they have their own challenges as well as advantages. Do you have any preferences, if uh, residential or commercial, and if you could only do one type of project until the end of uh, your career, which one would you choose? I tell you immediately because uh, we mostly we do uh, let's say half residential and half commercial. Mm -hmm. And uh, doing villas, uh, huge villas with uh, uh, a good amount of money, a high budget and stuff, uh, it's uh, really satisfactory uh, works because it's like a, a representation of a personal life. Uh, and, uh, but it's a complicated thing. Uh, it takes a long uh, time, uh, maybe last year, uh, years and that. Uh, of course, it's satisfactory at the end, but it's uh, it's a long way. Then, uh, in retail uh, projects, in commercial projects, we have all a different kind of uh, approach because uh, you need to be fast. Uh, shops need to be open fastly, so uh, it's easier. Uh, so, uh, answering to your question, if I have to choose just one kind of project to do it for the rest of my life, right, you know what, I would choose uh, hotel and resorts because okay. uh, then you can do, uh, you can express your taste, but for many different clients without having just one owner uh, who you have to relate it with. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you can take also your time to develop the project. Yeah. You have to take your time, you can take pace. your time, it's not, uh, but then it's different because you don't have one single owner mm -hmm. talking to you and discussing the project, but a lot of people that uh, will enjoy the project. Uh, mm -hmm. exactly. um, your studio is responsible uh, for the artic artistic direction of the slow air fashion brand and it is now developing the new retail concept uh, and design uh, of several stores and showrooms, uh, not only in Italy, but uh, worldwide. Uh, from what I understood, this uh, aims to be much more than another store. 
um, where you can simply buy some goods. Uh, it's much more about the experience of going there uh, and the contact with the products and all the surrounding atmosphere. Is that correct? Yeah, uh, it's completely true. We are uh, in charge of the, the projects uh, of, uh, and uh, of the artistic direction of uh, this uh, uh, Italian brand. Uh, uh, it's called uh, Slowware. Uh, we did uh, about 40 stores all around the world, uh, from Tokyo to uh, uh, New York, uh, London, uh, Beirut, and Hong Kong, and so on. And uh, we're not doing on, only the, the project, but we're taking care also of the graphic, uh, the music. Mm -hmm. uh, we do the selection of the, um, of the books, for example. And um, as you said, more than a store, it's like, um, uh, let's say, a philosophy of life. Because mm -hmm. uh, it means uh, going to slow wear store, means to get in, uh, to... Uh, Enjoy the time, to take your time, to breathe the atmosphere, to listen to good music, to have a glass of wine, uh, possibly Italian wine, of course, uh, and eventually, at the end, uh, maybe you buy some clothes. This is, the, uh, this is a philosophy that changes, actually, the attitude to uh, fast fashion. Yeah. So you have to basically take your time. And uh, the idea is to live an experience of uh, Italian life, Mm -hmm. uh, the story is always like uh, designed uh, like um, uh, with, with a very strong homey style, mm -hmm. and uh, it's like uh, going to uh, let's say going to the house of a friend with a good wardrobe, where you choose uh, vinyls, uh, you listen to music, you have a glass of wine, uh, uh, you have nice furniture, and. Uh, what I would say that is that, of course, there's a common thread uh, among all these uh, shops and all the stores that we did. But uh, uh, as we said before, there's always uh, uh, an attention, a particular attention that we give to the local aspect. So we can talk about uh, 70, if, if, we, if I had to give you a receipt, it's like 70% brand identity mm -hmm. and 30% local specific stuff. Okay. Uh, this means that if you get in in the store of New York, uh, it's different from Seoul, it's different from Tokyo, it's different from Milan. And I believe uh, all these things that we are saying about slow wear stores are uh, really the the future trend of uh, of fashion retail already. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Are, are you going, We are going to to this direction, I believe. Even if the e-commerce is growing up, mm -hmm, of course, there will always be place for 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 an experience from a, for a store that it's not only a store where you get in and buy, but mm -hmm. it's like an experience that you do. You have to breathe the experience. That's, that's the point. Yeah, it takes the the good much more than the the commercial um, component component of the brand. It's much yeah. more about experiencing yeah. it and taking. Uh, taking exactly. it all in. Exactly. Yes. It's like it's much more experience than uh, than uh, a thing that you buy. Okay, you get you go home and, and then you buy it uh, by mm -hmm. uh, mail. Uh, but before you you learn and you breathe. Mm -hmm. What are the main uh, design requests of your current clients? Do you notice a difference in uh, client states over these past few years? Uh, if I have to say, I would say there's um, um, less need for uh, self-representation, doing mostly houses and uh, residential projects. There's a less need for uh, self-representation and status symbol. And more and more, we're talking about uh, wellness. They're, they're asking, uh, clients are asking for wellness, to, to, to feel good, mm -hmm. to reflect their personality. Uh, so I believe uh, this is an important uh, step in doing the project because uh, this is the, the right direction we have to follow, uh, to feel good and to be ourselves, not to copy, paste or to represent a certain symbol. Exactly. It's much more personalized to, to yeah. the client's tastes. Yes. Yeah, much more, much more, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, according to the information available on your website, every project is unique and uh, includes the design and production of bespoke furniture. Um, in your opinion, is this special attention to detail in the furniture what really sets uh, your work apart? Uh, yeah, absolutely. As we say, we were saying before, I absolutely believe that uh, personality is the key word. If you do uh, believe in personality and you want to do projects with personality, you have to work on uh, unique projects. And to work on unique projects, you have to do to design bespoke furniture. Uh, this is a uh, what we do, uh, we have to. We need to express personality, uh, and to do uh, to do each, each project has to be unique. So uh, that's why to avoid the standardization and globalization, uh, we we uh, we are concentrated on uh, doing bespoke furniture and uh, design uh, uh, unique pieces for uh, of furniture for every house. So uh, this actually led us to uh, our uh, design line because uh, after designing for years uh, special and unique pieces for for the house, we started to design our uh, own furniture line. Mm -hmm. And given that you already uh, designed a collection in collaboration with uh, one of the um, other brands of our group, in this case Essential Home, um, you know that one of our goals is to combine uh, Portuguese craftsmanship and culture and the contemporary style. Is craftsmanship also valued in Italy and uh, the other countries where you have worked so far? Uh, craftsmanship is uh, is fundamental because uh, because uh, when you do uh, your own design, uh, your own piece of furniture, uh, you design your own pieces. Uh, you need to have uh, a dialogue with the people that know that. And, uh, here in Italy, we have a very uh, well-known tradition of. Uh, craftsmanship, uh, uh, we are some of the best artisans in uh, the world and they are able to, to do challenge projects and to deal with different materials. Uh, I know, we know because we work for uh, a Portuguese company that uh, in Portugal too there's this uh, great attention and tradition of, of, about uh, craftsmanship and uh, also in other countries but no I have to say, not for our experience, in all the countries of the world, you find, of course, a great tradition of craftsmanship. So mm -hmm. sometimes it's, uh, it's, better, it's better to, to have the things done in uh, Portugal or in Italy or somewhere where they're able to do it and then ship it. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's, it's a very important uh, aspect, uh, but you have to deal, of course, with people that are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, is there any particular home society products that you feel that could complement your style, your visual style in any way, and why? Well, uh, there are there are many. Uh, if I uh, should, uh, if I uh, have to, to to quote some of them, I would say, uh, for example, the delightful lamps. Uh, I love uh, Coltrane lamp and uh, Galliano or Lane. Uh, brass uh, kind of uh, brass kind of uh, of uh, modernist uh, in somehow uh, uh, chandeliers and lamps. Uh, then uh, I like uh, in Brabu, uh, for example, side table Lorey, uh, or mm -hmm. some some racks, for example, Poi, Gobi, Mursi. Mm -hmm. uh, in essential home, uh, I like uh, I love uh, monocle sideboard. Anthony. So there are many pieces uh, that, that we like and uh, that we use the products. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are, uh, those are some of our favorites as well. Um, do you have a favorite current trend that uh, has been around uh, the interior design world that you really like? Um, I think that uh, the trend that it's uh, it's a trend that we, in which we believe and we follow. It's uh, uh, a trend that after many years of minimalism and, uh, and now like a decade of uh, maximalism, 
Uh, we're now running through a, a phase where uh, we uh, love to to mix mix things up, and uh, the point is you can mix all the new uh, project and uh, stuff that you find, uh, furniture, different kind of furniture. The point is uh, the main point is to have the taste to do it, because otherwise mm -hmm. it's uh, you can you can mess exactly. it up. But uh, if you do it with taste, uh, uh, the project is much more interesting. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then the other direction that is uh, uh, the design is taken is uh, multifunctional spaces. Uh, also because of the COVID and all this period that we're passing through, you know, uh, we, we need uh, spaces to be more and more fluid and, and uh, flexible. Mm -hmm. So we have to, we need to live in open space that can change, that, that can uh, uh, you can move, you can, uh, like, uh, they need to be flexible. So these are mm -hmm. the two main uh, aspects of design today, and I think it will be Okay, exactly. And now to conclude our interview, what is the best advice that uh, you could give to any designer? Well, uh, the first advice uh, I would give uh, is to be curious. You have to, to look around, to touch a thing, to see the things, and this is the main thing. The second is to be open-minded, because you don't have to be narrow-minded. You have to like be open and uh, look everywhere, whatever it comes from, uh, every hint. The third uh, is to be... Yes. yes, this is a ple this was a pleasure also for us. It was such a rich interview and uh, you gave us great insights not only about your work but about the world of interior design. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.